What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. And apologies about my voice, lads. My throat and my nose are absolutely, I don't know, man, a bit of a flu, a bit of a collar flu. But hopefully we'll get through this video. We've got the Worldwide Player of the Week that we're going to take a look at. And then, of course, we will look at the European Club Championship one as well. So I sound like I'm a bit underwater. I do apologize for that, but I am smothered. So anyway, we are going to take a look at this pack first of all, right? Now, this pack has Modric, who I think is a really good player in the game. <coughs> Excuse me, lads. Uh, Modric is one of those players that you either love him or you hate him. Not hate him, but he's a little bit too slow. Uh, to kind of like have as your main option in central uh, areas, in my opinion, right? Now, he does have wonderful balance, ball control, all those stats. Literally, ball control to low pass and lofted pass, you're going to have into the 90s, which is incredible. Speed and acceleration, he's a little bit slower than you would like. I mean, I still prefer Pedri. I mean, I know a lot of people have said that there was an older Modric card. The World Cup Modric card was insane. But I still always felt that Pedri was the main guy for me. To, to kind of have that ball and bring it forward. Now, he does have phenomenal player skills as well and a lot of unique player skills. I definitely will probably spin for this Modric card because I don't really have another Modric card uh, apart from the World Cup one, uh, which I never really gave a go to. Probably uh, this week will be the one to do it if I get time. But yeah, really, really nice, solid card. He's probably the pick of the pack. But of course, he's littered then. This pack is littered with very average players. I mean, Jafinho, obviously he's got pace, that balance is a little bit low. And remember, you can't train these players up, lads. So even though this guy's got super sub and first time shot, he doesn't have one touch pass. He doesn't have any of those skills that you could, you know, potentially need as an SS or a center forward. If you are looking to use him as kind of like that whole player SS, his his low pass is quite poor. His balance is quite poor for a player that's quite short and uh, light. You know, he's not very physically strong. His physical contact is quite poor as well. Just an average uh, SS, unless you are a newcomer. Also have Paqueta. This guy is very, very nice as well, but he's like a worse version of Modric. Obviously, he's a bit taller, a bit stronger, a bit more physical. Got some lovely player skills. He's got flip-flap and soul control, but he doesn't have double touch. And you'll notice a lot now, lads, is that they are limiting the cards quite a lot. I reckon that's in for next big update. I reckon there's going to be big changes to Dream Team and how you build your squad and how easy it is to get cards. So enjoy it while it lasts. We'll have a chat about that in another video. Yuri then as well. I always think a red alert too when I when I see this guy pop up. Yuri. Uh, but this guy is just another average left back. I mean, obviously, if you want to play him a little bit more attacking, he can. But I do feel like left back is probably the only position you could play him. And again, another like average enough left back. To be honest with you, lads, I mean, there's only probably about 50 players that you can really use uh, if you want to go up to divisions. If you're looking to get up to division 3, 2, or 1, you need to play the kind of really strong cards. I'm not saying the kind only cards, but I'm saying that, like, you know, Davies is probably a better left back than him. You know, it's not really a, a big one, a big advantage there. Or Mbappe GP would be better than this guy. So you catch my drift. You also have Hanko. This guy is down as a build up. Very good speed and acceleration. Very good height. Very good weight. He's on A form, on wavering form. Brilliant player skills. One touch pass. Blocker interception. What's not to like? Everything about this card is phenomenal. He doesn't have heading or aerial superiority, which is the only downgrade I would say on this card. But he's got passing, speed, physical contact, stamina, and those defensive stats. Very, very nice for a build-up if you don't have the likes of Van Dijk or someone like that. Goalkeepers, I never really pay too much heed to the goalkeepers, lads. This guy will not reach 90 reflexes, which is enough for me to kind of write him off. But he is very, very tall. I'd still say Donnarumma is better than him. He does have a long throw, but he doesn't have a low punt. The fact he doesn't have a low punt is a big no-no for me, okay? We also have Kim and uh, Kulovsky, Kulosevsky. This guy, I think, is probably... I think a lot of people will like him. He can play in a few positions, right wing, through the middle. He can do a lot of different things. He's got some nice player skills as well. One touch pass, through pass, and double touch, Marseille turn. A long range curler and shooting. That has been nerfed or buffed up a little bit, boosted up a little bit with the outside curler. So he's got everything you could possibly want. But then he's only got 81 finishing. So you will be dependent on those player skills to get him a few goals, right? Is he one of the best attacking midfielders in the game at the moment? No. Again, I would still say that the likes of Pedri uh, is probably better. Even Neymar, if you train him up in a specific way, you could take a lot of shots with Neymar from attacking midfield and still have that directness uh, as a deep line forward. But it all does depend on your tactics. As a card, I mean, uh, for the average user, this guy is pretty decent, um, but he's not going to be anywhere near meta or anything like that. Palmer is going to be pretty much the same then as well as an AMF creative uh, playmaker. Just a little bit too slow, and I don't think zippy enough for that attacking midfielder role. 
And even though he does have soul control, it's kind of wasted because he doesn't have double touch or flip flop. So he's not going to have that ball roll. I would definitely recommend somebody like Eze or somebody like that if you don't have it. If you just started playing the game, you get this guy. Yeah, of course, he's going to be, you know, a, a, an upgrade for you, right? So Kim and Kavara are the only two players left, right? Kim, you know what you're getting with him. Tackling and aggression going to be at 90. You've also got 85 speed, 86 if you've got 10 hag, which is pretty decent. Physical contact is very strong. He's also got some nice player skills, of course. Interception, blocker, aerial superiority, and one-touch pass. He doesn't have heading. That's not a huge deal. Heading is probably one of the, you know, under-the-radar kind of player skills anyway. But one-touch pass and acrobatic clearance is really, really good on this card. And he has low loft to pass as well, which is very unique. So you kind of build up from the back. A little bit more about him than the likes of... Uh, Van Dijk or somebody like that as a build-up. And then, last but not least, we have Cavara. Again, let's apologies about my <coughs> about my throat today, my voice. Dribbling very, very high. Acceleration very, very high. And, of course, your speed is going to be at the 90 if you have Ten Hag. I think you can only really use a lot of these cards if you're using, you know, a manager with a booster. Um, I did a video on a manager, the manager booster earlier. Every manager in the game that has 85-plus prof proficiency regardless of whether they cost coins or their GP, like Valbuena or Klopp, Zeitzler, they all give you a plus two boost. So his acceleration will go to 89 with most of those managers, but it'll go to 90 with Ten Hag. So balance is nice, tight possession is nice. The really dominant kind of like wingers at the moment that are able to hold possession are all guys that have high tight possession and high balance. So that is something to look out for. But all in all, lads, look, I'll, I'll, I'll keep it short and sweet. This is, in my opinion, a very poor pack. I don't think that there's anybody in here that would even interest me in my road to glory. Maybe Modric, I have Kavara, and maybe Kim. But even at that, I mean, you're just kind of picking a couple to, to get. Now, look, you can have a look and you can see, and this guy could be a beast for you. We also, did, we also missed this guy from AC Milan. Sorry, lads, but all of these guys are kind of like a dime a dozen. There's so many good players now in the game and in the database and on the market that you can actually get away with having a lot of these now i do like this guy but he doesn't have flip flap if he had ball roll it might be interesting but he doesn't so uh yeah i mean it depends if you start the game today and you sign these you're like oh what's this guy talking about these guys are beasts but if you've been playing the game for two years three years like these players don't even scratch the surface for you man they don't get excited uh don't get you excited so next up we'll have the european club championships but all in all yeah let me know if you guys spin or skip on this one for me personally i'll probably get the free one the free spin you can get that in the event i'll probably try and get luka Modric, but if i don't i'm not going to be too worried about it because you know i don't really need any of them in my main squad at the moment like on my main squad i'm absolutely stacked at the moment um you know nobody's going to come in here against these so Modric maybe instead of the Bryna, but i'm not really starting the Bryna. uh this is just an english league event team that i was using so all right, lads, let me know if you spin or skip. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you in a bit.